Don't Eat the Teacher. Written by Nick Ward. Don't eat the teacher. My goodness, who would eat that teacher? Hurry up, Sammy, his mother called. You'll be late. Sammy dived downstairs for his breakfast. <clears throat> it was his first day at school, and he was very, very excited. You can see he's swimming downstairs because I see all the water bubbles. But when Sammy became too excited, he had the unfortunate habit, as all young sharks do. What do y'all think that may be? Biting things. He likes to bite things when he gets excited. Sammy opened his mouth and... Crunch! Oh, Sammy, complained his mother. Don't eat the table. Sorry, Mom, blushed Sammy. He grabbed his school bag, kissed his mother, and swam out the door. Be a good boy, Sammy, cried his mother. And his dad drove down the street to Sammy's new school. Hold on, I'm sorry. I gotta pick the kids up. She just wants to get up here. In the playground, a group of children were playing tag. That looks fun. Excellent, cried Sammy and dashed off to join in. You're it, shouted a shrimp. You're it, cried a cod. You're it, howled a haddock. Sammy opened his mouth and, oh no, Sammy, don't do it. What do y'all think Sammy's about to do? Let me show you the picture. Oh, look at that poor little fish. Remember when he gets excited, he likes to bite things. Crunch! Oh, Sammy cried the children. Don't eat your school, friends. Sorry, blushed Sammy. He hiccuped politely and out swam a little fish. Am I still it? <laughs> That's what the fish said. He still wants to play the game. The bell rang and all the fish swam off to their classroom. Good morning, children. Beamed the teacher. Let's start the day with a really good story. Excellent, thought Sammy, flapping his tail in excitement. Uh-oh, he's excited again. Here we are, said the teacher. Here's a story we can really sink our teeth into. What do you think the teacher means? Does she mean eat the story? No, when you sink your teeth into something, that means you really get involved or interested. Interested. Sammy opened his mouth and uh oh. Oh, Sammy cried the children. Don't eat our story. Sorry, blushed Sammy. Never mind, smiled the teacher. Let's try some painting instead. This <clears throat> time, Sammy loved painting. He was so excited, it was hard not to nibble his paintbrush. Finished, he called. Sammy, that's lovely, said the teacher. It looks good enough to eat. Sammy opened his mouth and what do y'all think he's going to do to that painting? Crunch! Oh, Sammy groaned the teacher. Sorry, blushed Sammy. 
Never mind, said the teacher, giving him a cuddle. It's music now. Music and movement, called the teacher. As I play the piano, I want you all to pretend you are seaweed swaying in a gentle current. Can y'all do that? Pretend you're seaweed swaying back and forth. I'm seaweed, thought Sammy, drifting and stretching as elegantly as he could. Okay, Sammy pretending to be seaweed. The current is getting stronger, sang the teacher. The children started to dance even faster. Sammy started to get excited. Now, you are a storm, the teacher cried. A terrible storm. Destroying everything in its path. I'm a terrible storm, yelled Sammy. He opens his mouth and... Oh dear, thought Sammy, as he got ready to go home. I didn't mean to. But I think he did. Tomorrow I'll be good, really, really good. Uh-oh. Hello, darling, said Sammy's mother at the school gate. How was your first day at school? Uh, excellent, said Sammy. And what did you learn today? Lots, blushed Sammy. Don't eat the stories. Don't eat the painting. Don't eat the classroom. And don't eat the teacher. They said, don't eat your teacher. All right, boys and girls, I hope you were able to enjoy that story, even though we had a little visitor today. Not being too nice during story time. She doesn't know yet. You have to be quiet when the teacher's reading the story. All right, happy Friday. See you guys on Monday.